All right, we got head coach Dave Dorn. We'll start with an opening statement and then open it up for questions. I'm very proud of our team and uh, once again showed resiliency and uh, defense uh, played out of their minds tonight, and, uh, able to, you know, fourth down stops and key plays at key moments and uh, continuing to have to see other guys step in. Aiden White played the entire game and <clears throat> Shy Battle went down and Tyon Palmer came in and Tanner got disqualified again and <laughs> Duffy had to go in and Peyton went out and Calvin went in. It's just like unbelievable. And, and I told them to 13 points. I think it says a lot, you know, uh, it's been a crazy year, but to break a record uh, that these guys are very proud of uh, for Chris Dunn to have, you know, his record tonight on a clutch kick to give us a two possession lead. I thought was outstanding and uh, just proud to be a part of this this football team and these young men uh, and this coaching staff for you know looking at where we came from a year ago we had one eight ACC win and, and now we have seven uh, that's quite a year when you talk about improvement so and the beauty of it is a lot of these guys are back um, so it's going to be a fun off season and, and look forward to the bowl you know, I thought <clears throat> I don't have stats, so I can't tell you what's going on that way. But obviously, Emeka had a big game. Uh, Bailey threw the ball well. But, it was, you know, to be able to have a playmaker like him uh, come up with the catches that he did and, you know, be able to have guys trying to rip his jersey off when they can't cover him um, was pretty awesome for us in the fourth quarter. Questions? Do we have stats, Annabelle? Or? Yeah. Andrew, you want to go ahead? Dave, after the way last year went, I know you set out into this offseason with some goals of what you wanted to do in terms of making changes and making additions to your staff. And, you, you know, you did all that. How exciting and how gratifying is it for that all to kind of come together the way it has this season? Yeah, I mean, it's the hardest thing you do as a coach is fire somebody on your staff. And um, so I went through some tough times last off season uh, and all the decisions I made weren't because they weren't good coaches. It was, I wanted to get a different um, type of feel uh, in our building. I wanted the power of positivity to take over, not just with our kids, but with our coaches and the camaraderie and the chemistry. And, and uh, it's what we do for a living. And I wanted to have fun doing it every day. And I wanted these players to have fun. Um, doesn't mean we don't work hard here. We do. But at the end of it all, it's, it's because we love the game and we love being around each other. And I think that that made this year really special, you know, to see it all come together the way it did, particularly when uh, we had to get segregated from each other, you know, during the quarantine of the spring. And the guys just took over our, our players with accountability to each other and to their coaches. And so couldn't have done it. With, without these young men and, and particularly the leaders on this football team. Um, but it's a good question. I appreciate you asking it. Uh, Mecca standing over here, but he had a heck of a game. Probably would have had 150 yards if they didn't PI you the whole time, but uh, it's a way to finish it, man. All right, James. Yeah, Dave, on that final drive, a lot of teams typically in that situation may run the ball just to try and run clock. You guys, I think, threw six times on that final drive. What went into that discussion maybe beforehand? Was it just how things have been progressing throughout the game? Well, yeah, I mean, we rushed for 88 yards on the night, and we needed to get some first downs, and they couldn't cover 86. Um, Bailey was, you know, throwing good balls, and we needed to get first downs. And so it's really just trusting that we were going to make the plays. And Devin Carter made a couple plays there on a slant route. And we were catching the ball well all night. So we trust our wideouts. And there was no reason not to trust what was going on in the passing game. At that point, we had not run the ball well for a while. It's just it's glad we were able to run one at the end to, to kind of put it away. But had to go with what was working at that point. All right, Brett. Dave, were they doing anything specific to take the run away today? You know, I'll need to watch the film, to, to be honest. They blitzed almost every play. I mean, so without seeing how we got plays made on us, I don't want to be wrong. 
but there was a lot of pressure. The D-line was slanting and angling with a backer or safety or a corner, and that's why we were able to throw the football. I mean, they were in one-on-one -on -one coverage in the back end almost all night. And then following up on Andrew's original question, um, would you consider this, considering all the things that went into this season, your best coaching job? Uh, I think that, you know, that's for you guys to decide, you know. Um, I'm just blessed to be here. I'm very proud uh, to coach these young men. Um, I haven't evaluated myself. I'm just trying to do everything I can to be better every day. So Thanks. we'll see how that plays out. Thanks and congratulations. All right, Janice. Coach, so many of these wins this season have gone down to the last drive or the last drive or two. They, they, they've been all been interesting. Um, but your team has found a way to pull it out. You, you've always talked about their resiliency. Is that a big sign of their growth from last season to this season and one of the biggest leaps they've made that late in games when it's tight, they found a way and they believe they were going to find a way to pull it out? Yeah, I mean, this team has grit. I mean, that's the sixth game that we've now won uh, one possession game in this year. And there's no flinch. There's no soft. They're hard. They're tough together. There's some things I'd like to say about people faking injuries, but I won't. But uh, our team just finds a way to win. All right, Josh, if you want to go ahead. Coach, you've mentioned a few times just how proud you are of this team. Some would have considered and some coach just said, uh, coaches in the league said playing this season, getting to this point would have been a win. But considering what happened to Devin and some of the adversity you guys face, what, what satisfies you most right now? Uh, you know, I think it's just um, the way that these guys play uh, and how coachable they are and, and how much fun they are to be around. Um, it, it's a joy to coach this football team. There's very few distractions. I think we just had our highest team GPA um, since I've been here as well. It's just a great group of people to be with. And uh, they truly want to be better. You can coach them hard. You can tell them the truth. And they give you everything they got. You know, it's just fun to be around guys like that. All right, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up with uh, Coach Dave Dorn so we can bring him back and Mezzi in. All right, see you guys.